So this weekend, we are turning this blank slate right here, this pile of wood chips, into a kitchen garden. from the store and now we're in the garage and we are going to build two of the raised beds before bed pro tip we're in a wood crisis folks everything is super expensive <laughs> what tickets ah. what one way around that is to build raised beds using cedar fence pickets ah. cedar fence pickets run you about four dollars for a six foot piece and you can make a foot tall raised bed six feet long three feet wide with only six pickets. So that will cost you $24, $25 for a raised bed. Now that doesn't include the supports and the sides. That's super inexpensive compared to what things are costing right now. We're probably gonna be spending about $400 to $500 total on this entire kitchen garden, which is very minimal compared to what it would be. It would probably be about $2,000 if we were buying cedar wood boards instead of cedar fence pickets. That's crazy, Malachi. Crazy! So let's get started on building these beds. Well, the miter saw is much too loud for me and Malachi without hearing protection. So we're gonna go take a look at the chickens and we're gonna say hi to the goats and look at the pretty roses that are blooming right outside the chicken coop. You ready, boo-boo? Come along with us, friends. Hi guys, how's it going? You guys got lots of wind, nice little breeze. These guys are getting a new coop soon, a fancy little farmhouse coop. How are you guys doing? This is a beauty that I wanted to check out. It has blooms all over it too. I have heard the petals are good for chickens and they're really tasty to chickens, so as the petals like die off and fall off, the chickens will get to have their little snack. You got lots of grass to eat in there. No takers? Basil's just loafing in front of the rose. What are you doing, you silly cat? <laughs> here these are the fence pickets and all you have to do is cut these little ends off I think they're called dog ear and they are five and a half inches wide so we are actually stacking four because we want to go for about two feet high raised bed but you could easily just stack two and that would be plenty but we want um, taller beds <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes From falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Yeah, those look great. Now you're going to assemble it. Now you're going to assemble it. I really want to know, really want to know. If I let figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep. 
keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling So Chris is adding some vertical support to the boards we're gonna add one more horizontal support about halfway down, which we'll show you guys, but I think we need to pick up a few more things at the store before we do so. Malachi took a little nap on me. It's now eight o'clock. He's ready for bed soon. We got pretty much one bed built. We'll show you guys how it's looking. And we've got three more to go, but now that we're in the swing of things, it honestly should be pretty fast, so. the one raised bed three more to go and we are well on our way to creating a kitchen garden mama's gonna have to get some starts because I didn't start enough things for this we can go through our seeds and see what things we can direct seed I definitely want to plant some carrots because we are infamously bad at doing carrots huh boo boo there's Dada looking at Dada in the <laughs> camera <laughs> we were building these raised beds out of cedar fence pickets these are like the typical dog ear fence pickets are about five and a half inches wide that you can get at most big box stores. And what we've done is we've chopped off the dog ear of each of the fence pickets to make a usable rectangular piece of wood. And then I've gone ahead and uh, cut half of those. Basically I've, I've cut some of those pieces in half and kept some of those as full length. So we end up as, end up with some pieces that are about three feet and some that are about six feet. Obviously we're making about a three by six bed and then we have these corner supports that are about two feet tall. Basically these will stand vertically and our shorter end and our longer end will attach to the sides of this vertical support. And so what I've started doing is I've taken the, uh, the pieces for the shorter side and I've started to assemble them here on the floor. So we're going four widths of fence picket high. Uh, I'll assemble both of these uh, two end pieces and then I'll start connecting them with the longer pieces um, to create the full structure. So come along and uh, you guys will see how that process goes. does it guys as you see I had assembled the bed upside down and the reason for that is I want these two by four pieces to be flush with the top surface once all is said and done the plan is to install some cedar trim boards three and a half inch boards um, as like a horizontal trim piece along the top like a, like a ledge basically and so that's why I needed those to be flush so that I have something solid to uh, secure that to um, the only other thing that so the time lapse cut out but you'll see I installed the center supports the and that's just to bring all the boards uh, together in terms of their, their gapping. You know, there's a lot of flex with these boards because they're pretty thin. And so for that six foot expanse, that board helps to make every, everything nice and even and flush. I'm going to install a support piece running horizontally between that vertical member and there it is, that vertical member. And that support piece is gonna basically keep the, the brace bed from bowing out once the pressure of the soil is filling up the bed. So all in all, it's a pretty straightforward build process. Whenever there was a bow in the board, I always placed it so that it bowed inwards towards the bed since the soil is going to tend to want to push the board outwards. That'll make it just make it tend to be more flush or more um, more of an even look along the side of the bed yeah that's it I'm gonna cut it back to Jen so this bed this two foot tall bed was built for about $50 and you could build it much shorter you could do just two boards so about 11 inches tall and that would be plenty high and you could do that for $25 six by three bed so great size 18 square foot for planting we're gonna be doing four of them for about $200 worth of, of materials. A little bit extra for other things like screws that we had to get, but definitely something affordable that you could do if you're looking for raised beds and looking to use cedar wood. Okay friends, we'll be back with the kitchen garden to plant and lots more fun stuff coming your way. 